so you when your dad got caught and when he went off what happened to you who took care of the family i know your mom was there and your grandparents were there so my mom my mom was only 22 23 when she had me so she was probably you know 26 27 very young young lady um my parents had bought a house right next to my paternal grandparents but when my dad was taken away my mom abandoned that house uh so my maternal uh my pet dad's parents just took care of the house right next to it so my mom took me back into her parents house so my grandma grandparents from my mom's side they took care of me my mom um you know she was thrown immediately you know um into a single mother didn't know what to do didn't know uh, uh what the future holds doesn't know where her husband is um she, Fortunately, she was employed by the power company, the electric company of Vietnam. So she right. had a job. But she was gone from dawn to dusk. She was gone. So really, my grandparents took care of me, mostly my uh, grandmother, my grandfather. My maternal grandmother, uh, father, is uh, the one that's very dear to me. And then my mom is one of 11 children. So she, uh, I had a lot of aunts and uncles, and everyone was living in one house. Right. Uh, when the communists co- came, uh, they would just take people's property, get people's houses, and just throw them out. And we were lucky. You know, we still had that one house, and everyone was in there. Eleven kids, my pe- my mom's uh, brothers and sisters, and two parents. And my dad. Right. Right. Um, your dad, how long was he uh, held a, a prisoner? Um, he was taken, so in 1975, he was not released. He he was, they were, had no plans to release him because um, of his ranking and where he was working. And they thought he had intel because he was in, in telecommunications. So, right. So he essentially, uh, eventually escaped. Mastermind, uh-huh. mastermind his escape from concentration camp. Right. Did he share his concentration camp stories with you? Definitely, definitely. I remember. Um, I remember my plight was to find where my dad is. Mm-hmm. So, uh, from 1975 up to 1979, 80, every month my mom would leave in the morning, early morning one day and come back late or the next day. She was she was doing that and I didn't know what she was doing. And then so I finally asked her, Mom, where what are you doing? I go, oh, um, she answered, I'm bringing food. I'm bringing, uh, you know, food mostly in clothes to your dad. So I go, Mom, can I come next time? I want to come. Several times, uh, she went without me because it was so dangerous. The, the trek was so dangerous. To, where they took him was in the forest with nothing. They just starve him and they work.
ride. <laughs> what are you doing here, little girl? I, can't <laughs> I got lost. That's it. Lost. Right. And 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 this was a this was a, a shed, uh, or was it underground? What what was no, it? It was a shed that they they made huh. my dad and the prisoners build. Okay. So, okay. Uh, you know, he was there. He was there uh, for a short time, and they moved him to a lot of other places. So I think it's like four or five years of concentration camp that he. Wow. Okay.